Do you need easy, delicious meals that are low fat? Well, here are two potato meals that you will enjoy, so keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Miss Lee and welcome to my channel. I am pleased to announce that I will be doing a collab, a potato meals collab with two other creators. So we are gonna be making potato meals for you. You're gonna be set for six days out of the week. I'm making two, Tiffany's making two, and Rachel is making two. So when you're done with this video, go to their channels, check them out and see what meals they're making. So today I'm making two meals. The first is a casserole, a shepherd's pie, whatever you wanna call it. And the next is a potato salad. Now this potato salad is similar to the one that I made on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go over there, follow me on Instagram. I try to stay more active on Instagram. Now today I am, I really can't see anything because I have glasses because I'm having something weird happen with my eyes. So these are my glasses, but they make like a weird reflection. If you don't know me, my name is Miss Lee. I lost 25 pounds in the year 2020 and I make low fat meals. I make delicious meals. I have a lot of what I eat today videos. I have other videos that will help you meal prep, get ready for work, make sure you have enough meals for the week. You can check those out on this channel. And plus I have Instagram videos and I'm also on TikTok as well. So you can check all those out. And now here's the first meal. So I've already made this meal. This is the beautiful leftovers. And I had a busy week, so I made this meal during the week and now I'm recording this part for you. So we are gonna eat this in a couple of minutes and you're gonna see how it comes out as leftovers. So I have put the potatoes in for, oh, well, that's as long as they've been sitting there, but I put them in for about nine minutes, I think, because I filled it up to the top. Now these are creamer potatoes right here and russet potatoes. I'm going to use the creamer potatoes for my potato salad. The russet will be for this dish. So this is what I call my lazy shepherd's pie. Lazy because for this time, the shepherd's pie is all gonna be made in one pot. Well, the filling will be made in one pot. So I'm using these green lentils. Now, I don't have a lot left. I used these for another recipe, but it's also called use up whatever's in your fridge. So these green lentils are gonna be used, and then I'm gonna add some gonna add some vegetables. These are the Mediterranean blend from Whole Foods. They were frozen, they've been thawing. And the mirepoix, which is celery, onions, and carrots. And then I'll be adding some tomato paste. You will see how it comes out. So I've rinsed the sprouted lentils, and then I'm just gonna add all my other things. Then you are going to add your seasonings. So I am just adding a sprinkle of allspice, a sprinkle of this bear bear seasoning, a sprinkle of the garlic powder, or like three sprinkles, sprinkle of the garlic salt, I have tomato paste. Now this tomato paste is 5.5 ounces. I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I used about half. So for anyone who does math, whatever half of 5.5 is, that's what I used. Then I'm gonna use some vegetable broth. And this is 32 ounces. I'm just gonna, oop, actually. I do wanna measure this out because I wanna make sure I have enough liquid for the lentils. So that's one. Two. And three. we will do like three cups. That should be good, okay put on the top. Okay, so that was the setting for the, oh, actually, 
I like to do the bean setting. When I make lentils, I do the bean setting and see what happens. <laughs> Start. Mashed potatoes, yum. So this is real life here. It's a little watery. So I'm just gonna add some arrowroot to it, some arrowroot flour, get it less watery. And then I will add it to the pan. So I did two tablespoons arrowroot to thicken it. Now, if you wanna add some more tomato paste, you don't have to do this step. And hey, if you don't have shepherd's pie, you have a delicious stew. So there you go. The potatoes. I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. These are gluten-free. You can use non-gluten-free, but I cannot have wheat. So I preheated the oven to 415 and I'm gonna put it in the oven. So this is the final. We're gonna call it a casserole slash shepherd's pie. Either way, it will taste amazing. So I'm going to see how it is plated. This is the final of the potato casserole with the delicious breadcrumbs on top. I just sprinkled some freeze-dried chives and it is a nice filling meal with lots of vegetables and potatoes. So this is for my potato salad. Now I always am changing up a recipe. So I did have a recipe for vegan mayo over on Instagram, but I'm gonna change it slightly today. So I have the almond milk, smoked paprika I might add a little bit later, I'm not sure. I'm gonna be adding some dill, half a lemon, garlic salt, and cashews. And so we'll see how that comes out. For this recipe, I forgot to show I'm using this yogurt, giving it a tangy taste, which will work really well with recipes. Least amount of fat that I have found and the purest, in whoop, and the purest ingredients. Using some garlic salt. Now for this, I just start out with some and then whoop, see, <laughs> okay. We're gonna throw that away. I start out with some and then I just add as I go along and taste. So yeah, that's about a fourth taste teaspoon. That is about a fourth teaspoon of garlic salt. I'm going to add a little bit of dill. Just not winning today. Let's add some dill. I am starting out with half a lemon and I'll see if I need more. Trying to keep this less fat, so a quarter cup of cashews. And let's try, yeah, quarter cup of almond milk. Looks good. Looks really good. Let's try it. Has a really good taste to it. This tastes amazing, but it needs to be a little bit sweeter. So let's try a teaspoon of maple syrup. Getting better. Another teaspoon of maple syrup. And we'll try it again. That is coming out really good. 
So we are doing a quarter cup. And then that should be good. Nice and thick. That tastes really good. So these are the potatoes I made the other night. These little creamer potatoes, those are the ones I'm using for the salad. And this is what I have so far. I unfortunately do not like the skin, so I'm taking the skin off of them. So this is my potatoes. These are the potatoes, they are all ready. This is my salad dressing, got thicker. And I say this is about two servings. So let's see if we need any more. And I'm just using these chives. And I actually used just half. I have four ounces left. So for four ounces, this is a low fat meal that you can have. Like I said, you could probably do two servings. Just have this over a little salad to make your salad a little bit more exciting. And this is how it looks. This is the final salad. So this low fat potato salad can be used over greens and it is delicious and it is simple, so you have to try it. So this is the salad. I put it in this container and filled it all the way up to the top. This is a few servings. I think this is a six cup container. I don't know where it says that, but anyway, so. This is a salad I got at a local salad cafe. Basically just really tired, didn't wanna make anything. This salad has red peppers, carrots, cabbage, arugula, romaine, and this is some hummus. I'll decide if I wanna use that or not. So you'll see how I'm gonna plate it with the potato salad. And here is how it looks when it is all plated and ready. I sprinkled some paprika and a little bit of dill on the top. You can put more if you want. I still have all of this left, so there's like maybe two servings left. It's low fat, delicious. You can bring it for lunch, you can have it for a snack. This is my potato salad. If you stay to the end of this video, the secret word for the day is potato. Why? Because we love our potato meals. Potato meals help you lose more weight. They help you feel full, satisfied. But just a really good idea if you're trying to lose weight or maintain your weight, you definitely want potatoes. So potato is the key word, the secret word of the day. Make sure you're following all of us. We are all doing potato meals on our channels. All of our channels have delicious low fat meals that you can make, whether you're on the start solution, whether you're just trying to eat more low fat and, or if you're just trying to be more healthy. We have a lot of meals for you guys. Check out their channels, subscribe to mine, and have a great day.